I'm Camille Visuel, uh, I'm from France. I uh, entiendo español, pero lo hablo muy mal. Uh, I, I invite you to, to ask me questions uh, during the talk, and you're welcome. <laughs> Um, I will talk to you about, about um, future uh, tool, really, uh, which we called Farno Mikado. Um, I'm one of the three people working on, well, working on it um, today, and one is could not come to to LGM this year. He, he's still in Canada, and one of two. Two children to look for, so I'm the only one, but <laughs> I, I will try to explain everything. Um, so, Mikado is a very young project, not yet sure, sure to be named Mikado. Um, for now, we try to manipulate images with a graphene node interface. So, um, and the, the last thing is uh, we build an engine, okay, Alexandre built an engine uh, called Tempi, which I, I will explain later. So, for, we don't know what is a, a node engraved interface. Um, the, the idea is you have some in inputs, operators in the middle, and outputs at the end, uh, from right to left, left to right, sorry. Um, and it, uh, you may encounter it with Blender or Ramen, other free software. Uh, if you don't, it's, it's not so important. Uh, the important thing is that it allows us to, it allows us to do um, very flexible design. Um, uh, at the start, you, you have to learn how to use it as any software. Um, but you can have multiple uh, entries, multiple outputs. Um, everything is uh, ideally up updated live, so you can do a lot of things. Um, history of what you do is in front of you, so if you, if you want to do something in the past, you just have to to go to the right the right step. Um, you don't, you never destroy what you do. Um, and you set up one graph once and reuse. Uh, so you, you, you don't work for one time, you, you set up your, your workflow and then use it. Um, mm -hmm. And you don't have to script. Okay, so what, what we want to achieve is, uh, despite it's not so uh, usual as, uh, as an interface, and easy to use software, um, free software, uh, we choose to have a web interface, um, cross-platform, HTML5, um, the desktop tactile. We, we will see if we can keep up uh, on our wishes, um, and maybe it, it allows us to do server side um, um, computing and then uh, work uh, online, uh, ideally. Uh, for now, we just want to do image uh, editing, and then maybe one day, if, uh, if we have worked well, uh, see, see what we can do with other images. 
so I, I, I already said you, you may have encountered Blender and the interface, uh, which is really good to work, but to technically really good, but not for everyone. Um, it exists now multiple free software, which, which they are good in each uh, his own way, but it's not our way. <laughs> um, so in, in the concept uh, part, we have thinked about five personas. Uh, uh, um, it's like... Um, how do you say that? Um, someone we want to use the software. It's a it's a fictional character, um, and we set, we invented five. So I, I took you one here, um, which is um, a freelance illustrator for children. Um, she blog about his his she, she's work. Uh, and send some work to printers. So um, she used my paint to draw, and she does collages and things like that. Um, so Mikado in in this workflow is used um, with my paint or with the scanner to to correct and post produce images, just just drawn. Um, and send uh, to to the blog to prepare files for prints and so on. Mm -hmm. Okay, so who's working on Mikado? It's uh, Cédric Jamy, who's... Where it is? Yeah. <laughs> uh, who's, uh, which is a graphic designer from France, like me. Uh, known for some books on, uh, on free software. Uh, Alexandre Cressy, uh, which I will introduce you. And me, uh, I'm a graphic designer and do some code. Um, Alexandre, which I've, I've done the, the most of the work, uh, work at SAT, Society of Art and Technology, uh, it's, which is a department which is, which is called Metalab uh, at Montreal. He do research and code um, for artists. Um, you may know him for Toonloop, which is a stop motion uh, free software. And uh, he, he works on Tempe since uh, 2011. And had started to lead the Tempe project at SAT, so he's not, on, he's not alone to work on Tempe. Uh, so, Tempe, what it is. <laughs> um, Tempe, it's similar to pure data, maybe if you know. Um, it's like um, a generic engine to, uh, to manipulate uh, data uh, with nodes and graph. Uh, so with Tempe, you can do, in theory, any media uh, flow programming. Um, okay. Um, okay, to resume, Tempe is released. Mikado is not released. <laughs> um, but um, we'll try to, to build Mikado uh, as a prototype for interface on Tempe. Uh, so with Mikado, we are out here. <laughs> um, I have some, something to show you. Okay, uh, maybe I will come back for questions on technical parts. Um, but um, you see the web in interface on the top. 
Node.js to let people speak. And uh, Tempi as the, the engine and GL from the GIMP project, project to, to do image manipulation. Uh, we, don't, we didn't choose not our license yet, but it's something JPL. Uh, and can you, you may see some links since you, if you can, if you can uh, get my presentation or, or do some Googling. So, uh, okay, um, this is Mikado, um, or maybe the web interface for Mikado, uh, an, empty, an empty bottle, <laughs> so it can't do every, anything, but you see, um, as a, um, an, an input entry, some operation in the middle, some output. So basic workflow is you choose a, an image. Uh, up. It puts in the input. You, re, you resize it or crop or change color or what you want, and save. Okay, so what's working now is simple operation like delete, <laughs> add. <laughs> um, but the, in the interesting part um, uh, compared to other software is you may have um, several steps and build your your own way of working. For example. And um, up. for example, here you get two images, you mix them. Uh, I have, have one saved which is only cropped and I have one saved which is cropped and recite. So uh, possibilities are wide. <laughs> um, last thing I want to show you is we are working, um, it's, it's not sure it will work at the end, but we, we keep in mind to have a, a, a tactile interface. So, sorry, okay, graph. Okay. Um, if I add a simple node in a touch version, you will have bigger buttons and use your fingers. <laughs> and <laughs> Uh, so it, it should work on tablet and it's mostly more working on my cell phone. Uh, maybe, uh, is there time for questions? One minute for le left for questions. Just in case. <laughs> you can also wait because both Cedric uh, and Camille will be around. Uh, yeah. Ah, I see a question. You can ask question in Spanish or English. Thank you. Um, how do you configure the output, for example? Uh, sorry, I didn't understand. Um, okay, how do you... Um, how do you um, configure the size for the output or whatever? Uh, what do you mean? You use uh, the the idea is to have uh, here the buttons are missing, <laughs> so uh, at, uh, 
when we have work at Enos, uh, you, you should have somewhere here uh, an interface to set up your size. And for each type of node, of uh, operator node, you, you should have the, the right tool to do the good thing and maybe zoom in and choose what you want to do. And so it, each node is uh, unique. So, one more question, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I want to know two things. First of all, do you have a planned schedule when you want when to do a prototype release or something like that? Um, okay, so one year. Um, I don't know exactly, so, but I I have something to. Uh, yeah. The, the, problem, the problem here is uh, technical. We, are, we have uh, Tempe, we have Node.js, we have a start of web and interface, we have most of technologies, but uh, Tempe can, can discuss with Node.js, but uh, Tempe cannot discuss with GeoGL, no. So we have to make these people talk. Uh, so it's m not, we are not so far, but um, it depends on, mostly on Alex, which is working on, on the Tempe project. So maybe uh, two months, maybe three years. <laughs> and my second question, um, this interface is only to be used with HTML5, or is this yeah. a generic interface which also can be used in a normal application, say, a C, written in C++, using a graphics library like Qt? Uh, it's it's web-based, so you, you can make it look like um, any application and hide the, the browser, but it's, it's still uh, JavaScript and and uh, HTML, and so uh, Qt and GTK uh, are not uh, invited <laughs> to... Thank you. <laughs> there was already three questions, so yeah. let's ask him in the break. <laughs> <laughs> we can discuss whether it was, this was yeah. an answer, of course. Kamin, thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> thanks. thanks. <laughs>